sorry. Um, mid midday snack. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh, that's okay. If we're gonna have snack before we start today's lesson, because I'm back for a lesson. But I've got potato chips. Yummy, oh, yum. Mmm, yeah. this looks way better. Oh, and soda. Potato oh. chips and soda. You sure you want that healthy apple? Yummy, yummy, I yummy. I didn't have my coffee this morning. Oh, wait a soda minute. Soda sounds really good. Wait a minute. Oh, smell. Oh, smell. Mmm. I really, I really mm. need to eat the apple. Mm. I've started it. Mm. Apple is healthier. I really mm. need to eat. Mm. I really should eat. Oh. Mm. These potato chips are good. They're yummy. Mm-hmm. So yummy. Are you sure you want to keep eating that healthy apple? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I want my apple. Fine, I'll eat the chips, you eat the apple. Yep. Yeah, I, I want my apple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. But I'll finish it. I'll finish it later. Yeah. She said she'll finish it later. Yeah. Do you know what that means? That means it's time for her to teach a lesson, and I'm excited about it today. Yeah, because, well, will you pray for us while I finish okay. chewing? Okay. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together again to learn more about you. We know that when we have faith and believe and trust that you give us grace, but that for us to be more like you, to be holy, to be set apart, we need to talk to you. And that's called praying. So we're talking to you and we need to keep learning. So we're going to learn more about you. We're going to talk more to you because we know that you are there for us no matter what. We love you and thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, so, what do you got for me today? It, it, it's kind of funny that you come in with your soda and potato chips while I'm eating my apple and try to tempt me with potato chips and a soda because that's today's word. Temptation. Is another, <laughs> temptation is another one of those words that we hear so much about but what does it really mean? What does hmm. temptation really mean? That is a big word. It I is. don't think I ever thought about it. Temptation. 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 I well, hear it at church, but... Temptation is the desire to do something wrong or unwise. Oh. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. I was trying to get you to eat some junk food instead of uh, instead an apple. of my apple. Yeah. That's. I uh, needed to eat. I needed to eat healthy. Okay. Uh, you know, potato chips are good every now and then, but I really needed to eat healthy this morning because I'm gonna eat junk food later. So okay. I need to eat healthy this morning. Okay. But I was really, really tempted with your soda. I haven't had my coffee this morning, so you gotta have a little bit of caffeine. Oh yeah. Would have been really good. Tempting. Temptation. Really tempting this morning. Yes. Yeah. Do you know the biggest story, the most common story of temptation in the Bible? Okay, so I think <coughs> I might know this one because I think it's the first story of temptation. Am I right? Yes. Oh, I'm getting it. Yes. I'm getting the it, story, friends. The story of Adam and Eve. Mm. And we find it beginning in Genesis chapter 2. Genesis, the very first book in the Bible. We're already talking about temptation. Whew, that didn't take long. No, it did not. Genesis chapter 2. We're going to start at verse 15. We're going to kind of skip around a little bit. We're going to start Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work for it and take care of him. To take care of it. That's where Adam and Eve lived, with the Garden of Eden. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden. They could Sounds eat like a good deal. They could eat anything they wanted. Okay. But you must not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat of it, you will certainly die. Ooh. Yeah. So they could eat anything they wanted except from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We're going to jump to Genesis chapter 3 now. Okay. Verse 1 says, Now the serpent, the snake, was more crafty than any of the other wild animals the Lord God had made. That was like the devil, right? Yeah, yes. The evil yep. kind of like. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. And he said to the woman, Did God really say that you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat from the tr any of the trees in the garden. But God did say, You must not eat from the tree of the in the middle of the garden. You may not touch it or you will die. Oh. You will certainly not die 
said the, the serpent, said the woman. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Well, that sounds too easy. Yeah. You can well, just eat something and be like God. That, that, that's the temptation story of oh. Adam and Eve. Oh. Yeah. Wow. The serpent tempted Eve and said, he surely didn't mean that. So have a bite of the apple. Have a bite of my apple. Oh, have yeah. a potato chip. Have a potato chip. These aren't bad. They're delicious. Yeah. They're made from potatoes. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Just take a little bite, said the serpent to hmm. Eve. And if you've read the Bible and read the rest of that story, we know that Eve does take a bite. And then she takes an apple, she takes the fruit to Adam and he eats of it too. Oh and boy. Yeah. Then oh we, boy. Then we have all kinds of issues. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever been tempted to do anything? Um, to do anything wrong? Mm. Like a couple of weeks ago when I tried to sell you a car <laughs> that I said would run well, and I knew it was junk? Yes, there's that. Maybe I've been, well, that, I was tempted. I just did it. What's that called when you're tempted and then you just flat out do it? Sin. Oh. <laughs> Sin. Yeah, maybe, maybe some of our friends have been tempted to cheat on a test. Ooh. You're not, you're not fully prepared for that spelling test. And, well... Your friend sitting right next to you seems to have written down the word really quickly. So maybe I can just take a little peek at, at their paper. I'm just, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I haven't done anything. I'm just really tempted because I, I don't know how to spell very well. And, well, getting an A on this test would mean a whole lot to me oh. if I could. So maybe, maybe I should just take, take a peek. Take oh. a peek. Now, that's, I got to tell you, mm. if it stops right there. With me thinking, maybe I could just take a peek, maybe. And I don't do, I don't look at your test. Have I done anything wrong? No. No. Because, no, it wasn't a sin. Cause it you, wasn't a sin. I didn't look. I bet. If I'm just I bet thinking, you said a little prayer and talked to God. Oh, I bet I did. Oh, okay. I bet I did. I bet when I'm, when I'm thinking about that, I'm like thinking, oh, Lord, I really don't know how to spell this word. <sighs> Lord, help me do my, my best. Help me spell this word the best I can. I don't need to look at my friend's paper. I don't need to look. And I can finish my test that way. I have not sinned. I feel like Tem I should cheer for you. Temptation. Being tempted. I feel like I want to go back and say to Eve, don't eat that Don't eat the food. apple. Don't, don't do eat the it. apple. It's not worth it. Yeah. <gasps> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It feels like it will be. <sighs> but you know what? These chips are already giving me a belly ache. Because I didn't eat anything healthy. Oh, it's not worth it. Hmm. Temptation, oh. though, is not mm. a sin. I want our friends to make sure we hear, they hear that loud and clear. Temptation, being tempted, is not a sin. Giving in to that temptation, actually looking at my friend's paper, that's the sin. When I think that, oh, nobody's going to catch me. Mm. I can look at her paper, and then I'll get 100 on my spelling test. That's the sin. Oh. That's the sin. Having those thoughts, well, maybe I, maybe I could look at her paper. Being tempted, oh, that's not a sin. Satan is so crafty. He's oh. going to try to come at Ooh. you with all kinds of thoughts in your head, Ooh. and that's not a sin. You can say, get behind me, Satan. No, and that's not a sin. But eating potato chips isn't a sin, is it? Cause eating potato chips is not a sin unless, oh. unless. See, this is where Satan. There's is, like a but. This but. Is where, this is where Satan is so crafty because oh. he's gonna take something like potato chips, which by themselves, eating potato chips is not a sin. You can have potato chips, but if Mom says, you know what, I don't want you to have potato chips right now because we're gonna have dinner in ten minutes. And you go and in the pantry sneak some potato chips because you say, oh, but I'm really hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. And you don't say that prayer to go have, ask God to help you. And you go and sneak the potato chips. Have you sinned? I'm going to go with yes. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? Mom may not even ask you. You don't even have to lie to mom and say, I didn't eat any potato chips. Oh, mom, my mom's not even here, and I feel guilty. I feel bad. <laughs> because 
God gave us rules. He gave us the Ten Commandments. And they kind of cover pretty much everything. And if you do something that your parents or, or someone in charge of you has said do not do, you're not honoring those people. You're not listening to them and obeying them. And, the, and one of the Ten Commandments says obey your mother and father. Honor your mother and father. And so if I do something that mom has said, you know, I don't want you to eat potato chips right now because we're going to have dinner in ten minutes. And I go and I eat the potato chips anyway, I've sinned. But here's the thing. Even if mom and dad don't know it, God does. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like I just... Can I end this lesson? Because I, 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 I think I know. You got this? I think I've got this. Because I'm super excited because I think I know what to do next. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Go for it. Did, did you have anything else to tell us? I think I'm good. Okay. Okay. Because I'm, I got excited. So Miss Heather's <laughs> like, okay. Because I wasn't supposed to eat, I was tempted to eat the potato chips. Even though I wasn't supposed to eat them today. And I ate them, and uh, I know I was told not to eat them, but I did it anyway. But I know what to do. Hmm? Pray with me. Hmm. Dear God, oh, thank you for your grace oh. and for giving me, even when I mess up. That's one of those holes <laughs> I, I did wrong. I didn't do what mom told me. I didn't honor my mother and my father. And if some, she asks me, I have to lie. So God, please forgive me for giving in to temptation and sinning. And thank you for the grace that you give me that means I'll be forgiven. And God, I will not do that again. I will try so hard not to give in to t temptation and sin. But even if I mess up again, I know that you still love me. And because I believe and I have faith and I trust you, I'll get grace. And when I mess up, you're always there for me. So forgive me, God, and help me to be strong enough to not sin again. I love you and thank you for your grace. Amen. Amen. Did I get it? You did. See, it, and it's so cool because even when we're tempted mm. and, we, and we give in to that temptation, we can fall back on God's holiness and mm. grace. And I don't want to give in to that same temptation over again. I want to be holy like we talked about last week. I want to be set apart for God. It works. It works. And the best thing, uh, and it was... It was one of my favorite things when I started coming here to this church. One of my favorite things that you that you taught me and the kids of Aldersgate is that we can pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. I and like I, interrupted your lesson to pray. And I, and I think prayer is so important. It's like totally interrupted. Especially when we talk about temptation. Because I can pray anytime about anything, about that temptation. And I can pray anywhere. I can pray in school, on the soccer field. At home in the pantry when I'm looking at those potato chips and say, no, dear God, please help me. That's please what I should have done. Please help me overcome this temptation. I didn't pray soon enough. I, next time I need to pray before I open the bag before of potato chips. Before you open the bag of potato chips. It, but it. just remember, eating the potato chips isn't bad. Unless mom says or dad says. Yeah. Gives you a reason why you yeah. shouldn't. And thinking about it, thinking about that set temptation. That temptation is not the sin. Nope. Giving in to it is. So always remember that you can pray when you think you're being tempted. Oh, dear God, just help me get over this temptation. Tell Satan to get behind me. Because Satan is crafty. He is crafty. I remember that. He is crafty. And he's going to use anything and everything he can, even, even an apple, <laughs> like he used with Eve, something good and healthy, he's going to use to tempt you. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, friends.